I didn't come here to live a comfortable life. I came here to live a conscious life, to live with my differences, to learn to be with others within their differences as well, to go to a higher place of love. And in order to do this, I've realized you have to use the fire. You have to use it, not run from it, not be afraid of it, using it. We have a choice. We have a choice to embrace that fire, and embrace the sparks between us, learn from each other, grow from it. Bring change to the patterns that we were taught to be. My grandmother was very protective of us. And um, some of the things she would want us to do is, you know, wash the cans uh, of Spam. I'm from Hawaii, so I'd have Spam in the cupboard. <laughs> spam and the green beans and the spinach and the soda pop and everything like that, you know, because it had to be washed with hot water and a sponge and even the, the green side of the sponge, the hard side, <laughs> and hot water and soap and rinsed and put in the cabinet oh so nicely and everything. I thought it was such a task. Why are we doing this? No one else does this. Why do we do this? She had a friend pass away when she was young from a soda pop having rat poisoning, rat stuff on it. Oh, thank you. Instead of it being, you know, I'm resentful for all the extra work and tediousness of it, when I opened up my heart to the reason why and where it came from, the love that it came from, I was, grat I was grateful. Thank you, Grandma, for wanting to protect us. Could have been done differently, right? But it came from a place of truth, underneath all that stuff. What about between us as people? We're very different, we're very unique. You might find a clique of people that you can resonate with, but still, within that clique, there's still differences. What do we do when those sparks happen, when our humanities touch and there's sparks? Do we stay at the surface of them, or do we go deeper into them and use them as a creative force, a creative energy to bring change, to be the change? Simple as washing a can, or as complex as war between countries. And in the middle, here we are, individuals. And we could be experiencing war between us. And we get to choose what we do with that, where we get to live what we do with that fire that happens with conflict and disagreements. Mistakes were made and apologized for and worked through and some maybe not. Still hanging there looking to be completed, looking to bring some kind of fruition to it but there's still that experience. They're both available in our world, in ourselves. Both places we can live from, live into, and we get to choose in each moment 